is sadly the day to start packing. That's all we've been doing all morning and cooking up the last two packages of bacon. So we've got our suitcases packed. We have outfits left to sleep in tonight, outfits for the plane tomorrow. We've got one more chance to maybe swim with her tonight. This is looking a little dirty to go shopping with, but we've got her suitcase and Chelsea's suitcase packed up down there. We are missing one towel. We've done so well. We have to go over to the Hilton Hotel and see if um, someone has turned it in. We left it over there one day. Um, so we have to go do that. Um, but we've got this weighed, and this is only at 45 and a half pounds. So excellent on this one. This one is not weighed, but I don't think we're gonna be even at 50 for this one. But we do need to add a few more things to that. Um, but all of our electronics are left to be unpacked, or left to be packed, because they all just go into our carry-on bags. So that is not a weight requirement. Um, Chelsea and Ashley are out here. They've got their travel bags ready to go. Outfit set out. So we're gonna go do one more day of exploring, sightseeing, shopping. Swimming. Tell everyone how you're feeling, Chelsea. In between, I can't really hear a thing, but... <laughs> yeah, she can talk to us, but she can't really hear anything. So she'll like sit there and talk to us and she'll hold her ear open so she can hear us. So in the middle of the night, it was a little bit tricky because she couldn't read our lips and she couldn't tell that she needed to like pull her ear down if we were talking to her. Well, but no, she... I couldn't because of wood pop. Right, so but she's feeling better this morning. So we're gonna go and get her souvenirs, right? And then what else are we gonna do? Kind of more shopping. Uh, maybe a little sightseeing, maybe go to a beach just to look at it. She can't get in. This one wants to maybe swim tonight? Yeah. Or this afternoon, if right? So, I can just try dipping my feet in by the side. Or yeah, you could do that. Get in the hot toys, but I don't need any like hot. No, but you could get in the kid pool that is like shallow, the just like pool. to be in it, like, like the <laughs> shorter end of the pool. Or you could be in the pool and just be the one throwing the toys to Chelsea like or to Ashley. There's kiddie pool next to the Hot yeah, you could do that. You could be in the water and just be the one throwing the toys, yeah. playing catch. We could get in and have a good time and let you be in the water. Just can't go under. <laughs> Don't wanna like reinfect the ears. But she's feeling better. So we're gonna get out and get going here. And anyway, and if we do end up going swimming, we will use the hotel towels for the, for the first time. Because I am washing one more towel and I don't want to wash any more. <laughs> I haven't packed. Ashley, can you go brush your hair? When we go back home, you need to <laughs> do your hair more often. She's kind of getting used to just putting the hat on and saying, okay, mom, my hair's done. <laughs> yeah. That's what yes, friend. that's exactly, I know. That's you don't want to like do your hair. Okay, but you need to go brush it so it doesn't turn into a matted mess. Jason has picked up these swim trunks at every single store that sells them, and I'm finally convincing him today to, to buy them. He doesn't want to spend the money on himself. He likes his girls to do that, <laughs> but I think he wants them. So I'm gonna, look, they match his shoes. <laughs> wear your shoes to the pool. Of course he finds it on the last day, but he's gonna wear them to the pool tonight. We're gonna go swimming. Those are bright. <laughs> We're not gonna miss where dad is at. Okay. Bucket hat, check. Yeah. Bucket hat, check, check. What one are you wearing today, Ashley? Finally bowl. <laughs> okay, you're wearing that one? And where's mine? Dad. Dad has it? Yeah. Mom got one too, finally, on the last day. Dad got a swimsuit on the last day, Mom finally found a hat. Chelsea finally found a hat. Yeah, but it's so cute. You look so cute, are you happy? It's cute. Chelsea has talked and come to this one every time we've come to this market. And I think this is it. This is, it's expensive, but I talked to her last night. She's kind of had a rough trip. So we're gonna, we're gonna let her have this one. Super cute. Yes? Okay. Okay, mom got sick of paying ton of money for ice cream. So I did three of us with 
shake or little ices for two dollars. <laughs> and Dad wants expensive ice cream, either from Foodland in little like Ben and Jerry tubs, or to go and get it from like a Shave Ice Company. But I'm kind of sick of spending 50 bucks on ice cream. So my uh, oh, where is he going? My uh, frugality is kicking in as we get ready to head home. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go get them ice cream really quick. I'm trying to figure out how to. Did he put that down over there for, for a second? I'm getting like a brain freeze from that and like a chest. Um, also, we went to the Nahoku store and got Kaylee a little something special. Yeah. Go ahead and talk to him about it, Kaylee. Well, I don't, you can, they can't hear me, so. Okay, I'll just tell you. So, Dad wanted to buy her some jewelry. So you can see me. For prom. Yeah, I thought it would be a nice little father daughter gift type thing. He wanted to do that before we came on the trip, right? And then Kaylee has been wanting to find a necklace or earrings to match her prom dress and thought it would be cool to get it from Hawaii. And then he, he's like, okay, well, I'll give it away. I'm gonna buy you something for prom. So we just decided to spend a little bit more money and buy something that's a little bit more valuable um, and have more quality. And so Nahoku is the Hawaiian jewelry store. We actually have one back at our mall. Um, so if we have any problems with it, we can take it back to that mall and we have a warranty on it. So she got a very it's pretty- it's gonna last the rest of her life. Man, yeah, and this is like, they're, they're hardcore, yeah, hardcore bikers they're, they're right like, there. Yeah, those bikes Squirrel, like squirrel moment. <laughs> anyway, it's a piece I want her to like have and I would rather spend a little bit more money and have something that you have little sentiment, like you have sentimental value in it and you know where you got it and what it's for. And um, we joked around with her that she's gonna wear it for prom next year. Right, Kaylee? I will. <laughs> so by the way, you're gonna get a purple dress next year as well, or wear the same one. <laughs> but we're gonna head back to the pool, right Ash? Yeah. Is that Ashley right there? Yeah. You got your bucket hat? Where's my bucket hat? Oh, you put it in here, didn't you? Yeah. I have to wear my bucket hat. I gotta cover up my forehead. I'm gonna get wet in the pool to cool off, and then I think I'm just gonna lay out, but I'm gonna wear my hat and uh, relax. I just wanna relax before we go. Show your short? Oh yeah, show my shorts, I guess. He's looking all stylish. I love them. Yeah, they're cool. They're about a little <laughs> I like it a lot. Yeah, they look good. Look. 
cute and all cleaned up. Cute hat. I never, I haven't gotten in the shower. You didn't get in the shower? That's okay. We're gonna go to dinner. Should we go? So we are going to head over to Macaroni Grill and we are headed out at 4.30. <laughs> we, if we can catch it before five, we get right in, which is wonderful. And Ashley, do you wanna show them what we found, what you found and reminded me of? Ashley, where did you find the cookies? She was like, mom, I found your secret stash. Where did I put it? And I'm so glad that I actually saved I knew they were somewhere. I, I know, where did I save them? Ah, there they are. Are they up there? This is gonna taste so good tonight. Oh, who's been finding them? <gasps> they're, they're opened and like almost well, they were on. before, but now they're like. Those are mine. You can have one. I took. I'm having some later. How many did you take? I only, who's, I only who's took two. Find, who's found these? I only took two. That's who, it. I wanna know who found them. What are they? These. Oh. Who found these? I thought we ate them all. No, I have been saving them. I think. No, you just forgot about them. No, we aren't talking about this. Like, we don't talk about Bruno. <laughs> it's probably dad. He's like, oh, what cookies? <laughs> you know, he said that. He's like, oh, what cookies are you well, talking he about? He's like, what cookies did you get? I'm like, yeah, you got see? two types of cookies. And he's he's like, like, he knows. Okay, Chess, let's go. We just did drops in her ear, so we're waiting. Oh, wait. Should we take this movie back and then get Mamma Mia? Huh? Yeah. Right? We rent movies from the hotel, which is nice. And then go in this little player here. You watch SpongeBob, the SpongeBob movie. Fantastic. Okay, come on, Chelsea, let's go. Our little uh, chauffeur drops us off. Trial service, right? Only three of us. Only three of us. We're gonna go get our table while he goes to park, find parking. First time we haven't found parking right up front. But we're gonna head over to Macaroni Grill. Macaroni Grill. Not exactly beach side, but something we can all eat. If I wrote you a song, if I got every word perfectly weighted on a thin piece of paper, would it make any difference? Would it change for the better if I wrote you a poem? If I posted a letter. All right, we are rushing to catch that sunset. Oh, there's dad. But Ashley and I had to run in one more time, get a little treat for some of our friends for game night. And then I got another pack of high chews because we can't have enough high chews. So my little chauffeur is here to pick me up so we can go catch that sunset right there. He's very mad at me. Okay, it's our last sunset. Right, Charles? We've been wanting to come to this beach for sunset. <laughs> Sorry, I'm falling on the lava rock. This is not easy to walk on, by the way. But we're gonna head out here to the beach. I forget what it's called. It's right by Lava Lava Beach Club. But it's gonna be really pretty because there's a cool pond by it. Oh, 
heart as pure from like yours. Well, that was the best sunset to take us out of Hawaii, right? It was nice. It was really nice. It was really nice. I've been wanting to come to this beach just for sunset ever since I found out about it a couple weeks ago. So we probably would have been come here had we had more swimmer desire. Well, when we had daytime. it, yeah. Chelsea just couldn't have done it, and she just gets frustrated, got frustrated. Anytime we went to a beach because she couldn't get in, so we stopped going to beaches. <laughs> but this was perfect for sunset, and I thought we were gonna call it quits, but now all the kids are like, well, we wanna go swim in the pool again. <laughs> she wants to do the glow sticks. Yeah, they wanna do the glow sticks tonight, and Abby wants to get in the hot tub, so, yeah. So I guess our night's not over, but that'll mean a late night for me, drying all the swimsuits and getting all packed up and ready to go, which is fine. You do what you gotta do in Hawaii. Thank <laughs> you. 